Hello everyone, my name is Kelly, hey, and Kelly. I made a big mistake when I shared the news of my success with my parents. Here's what happened to me. One day, our whole family was having dinner together. Mom, Dad, and my older sister. I had a thousand bucks in my hands. I had saved that much Not in just long. two months. And so I say, look how much I made on TikTok, and Whoa. you didn't believe me. Oh, now great. I have money. I earn my own money. Isn't that awesome? The surprise failed. When my older sister showed them that she learned how to twerk, they were delighted. Now I understand that I, I shouldn't have know. told my parents anything. My money would completely change them. I'm basically considered insane. Here's what happened insane. next. I had an ordinary life. I, like you, was addicted to TikTok and Instagram, watched Netflix, and went to school. But I got lucky and was able to monetize my TikTok and Instagram pages with various tutorials for girls. This brought me income as well as a lot of problems. After my failed surprise with my wad of money, my mother came up to me and seriously asked if I could lend her 300 bucks. No problem, mom. I was glad that she was finally paying attention to me and talking to me like an adult. But after a couple of days, she asked for more, and then more and more. And then she stopped looking for work and settled on the couch in her favorite robe to watch a stupid TV series. Of course, with a bottle of wine. When I came home from school, it wasn't even 5 p.m. Mum pounced on me. Where had I been? She said that she needed to have a serious conversation with me. She and my dad thought about it and had come to the conclusion that, since I wasn't 18 yet, they should manage my income. After all, I live in their house, eat their food, and use their internet and electricity. Oh, how much did she drink before coming up with that? They said I at least owed them a percentage of my earnings. Mom told me to wipe the look off my face because my class trip to France was coming up and I wouldn't be able to go without my parents' written consent. That's blackmail. After that, I was so depressed that I didn't post a single new video for a week. But I gave my parents 500 bucks, which I supposedly owed them. And after a while, I started supporting my older sister. I just bought a new iPhone. Mom, Mom called me over and told me to give her a thousand bucks two weeks in advance. Better yet, to stop acting like a bitch and buy a new phone for my sister. I asked her why I owed her anything. To this, my mother replied that we are one family and so we help each other. I didn't need a reason to do something nice for my beloved sister. What? The fuck? That sentimental bullshit almost made me lose it. But I saw no point in arguing, so we went to pick out a new iPhone for my sister. And then I paid to fix the newly purchased broken phone. I started feeling like I was trapped at home. It disgusted me to look at them all. Half a year passed that way, and then the holidays began. And I met a guy. He and I had been texting online for several months, but had never met. I told him about my problems with my family, and then he texted me that I needed to bust out of there. He invited me to go with him and his friends for a couple of weeks to a sports camp. I gave my mom 500 bucks and subtly mentioned that I was leaving with friends for a couple of weeks. Don't lose me. None of them even thought about me for a week. And then it was like something snapped. They were texting and calling me, asking when I would be back, and whether I could at least transfer them some money. Damn. I was even embarrassed to tell my friends. Their parents didn't miss them because of money. When I got back, my hair stood on end from the way they twisted everything. They were saying that I hadn't warned them and just disappeared, and that I must be on something if I don't remember that. And that was a month before my 18th birthday. I had to shell out a thousand bucks to calm them down. And also constantly lie that I love them and would never leave them. That I would live with them after graduation. But then that day came. My 18th birthday. When it was over, I packed up my stuff and walked out of the house. No, I escaped from that nightmare. They were begging me not to leave. They were literally on their knees. 
idiots. I told them, sayonara, and we never saw each other again. I have been living on my own for over a year now. I'll be 20 soon. I rarely call my parents because all they do is accuse me of being a bad daughter since I don't want to help my family. And they demand that I send them money because they raised me and all that. But I won't give them another cent. I never want to see them again. I think I'm doing the right thing. What do you think? Well, that's all. Believe in yourself and never try to live for someone else. You will definitely succeed. Hello everyone, I'm Becky. I once hid a homeless kitten from my parents in my room for over a week, but recently I decided to hide my boyfriend. <laughs> How long do you think we lasted? And what do you think we do in there? I'm now going to tell you about the most exciting few days of my life and about the most amazing moment with the guy of my dreams. I'm sure that after you hear this story, you're going to want to try it too. We both study at the Department of Journalism. I fell for him a long time ago, but I had no idea how he felt about me. I was tortured by him for almost a year before I decided to take a gamble. It was a Friday. After class, Dean, that's his name, told me that he had to spend the night at his house that day, but he didn't get along with his family and had been renting an apartment with a friend for a long time. I didn't ask him what was wrong. I just said, do you want to hang out with me today? My parents are leaving for the weekend. He said, sure, why not? Great. I had been waiting for a long time for a chance to get him alone. And my parents were, in fact, going on vacation somewhere that weekend. When we got to my part. house, I turned on some music and took off my outer layer of clothing. We sat down on the couch and looked at each other. Here we are, alone. What are we going to do? I said. We looked into each other's eyes and he said, Got any video games? Oh, God. So we ordered pizza. It was around 12 p.m. when I heard noise on the first floor. Damn it, it was my parents. I told Dean to crawl under the bed. My heart was pounding as I waited for my mother to come in. It turns out that my dad had some business come up suddenly and they had to come to the city and ruin all my plans. But this turned out to be the best thing that could have happened. My parents' unexpected return gave me the opportunity to launch the craziest challenge of my life. Of course, he could have easily escaped through my bedroom window, and no one would have been the wiser. But come on, that's so boring! I got a crazy idea. Let's have ourselves a challenge. How long can you live in my room and not get caught by my parents? On the first day, we had to deal with the final task, to shower, brush teeth, and not get caught. To accomplish that, we were going to have to shower together. We tiptoed into the bathroom. I got in the shower first, and Dean had to stand with his back to me and not look. And you know what? That's exactly what he did, even when I asked him to hand me a towel from the hanger. No. When we were done, Dean told me that he had another important thing to do. He really had to go to use the toilet. I told him to pee sitting down, otherwise it would make a lot of noise. After midnight, he went to the bathroom himself. We went to bed together and set an alarm to wake up earlier than my parents. The next morning, Dean and I went to the bathroom together, as we had planned. When Mum finally woke up and left for the spa, I packed a whole bag of food from the fridge. Dean had been whining all morning that he was going to starve to death. We spent the whole day in my room. We felt like we were winning some reality show. The adrenaline just went off the charts when my mother came in a couple of times while Dean was hiding under the bed. We filmed several stories for Instagram, and now almost everyone in our followers knew about our crazy challenge. They were betting on how long we would last, and on how long before we had... You know what I mean. But most importantly, everyone decided that we were dating. Dean didn't seem to mind at all. That night, when we went to bed, he asked if he could kiss me. It was our first kiss. On Sunday morning, we woke up again to the alarm and repeated our morning ritual. The fact that we had been together for so long in a confined space changed a lot. Now we felt comfortable telling each other things. For example, Dean told me that he had always been embarrassed by the difference in our social status and the fact that he didn't come from a particularly wealthy family. When he reached into his backpack again, 
He dropped something. I gave Dean a serious look, and he suddenly said, I'm just afraid of your parents. Do you think I would be so dumb if we were alone here? Then he kissed me again. When I went to the kitchen to stock up on food, the door to my room was open, and there stood my mom. My heart was leaping out of my chest, but Dean was nowhere to be seen. I asked my mom what she had forgotten. She replied that my room was just a terrible mess. Based on how many wrappers there were on my bed, she bet that under my bed was even worse. She started cleaning my room! Mom! Please, no! No, no! I quickly escorted my mother out of the room and told her that I would clean everything up right then. The first thing I did was check that my secret guest was under the bed safe and sound. When everyone went to bed, Dean and I whispered for a long time. He was getting closer and closer. Then he told me that he had never felt so scared and so awesome at the same time. What if my parents hear us? I told him that I was super scared too. He added that next time he would invite me to his apartment where no one would bother us. We kissed and everything went great. Dean climbed out the window early the next morning and a couple of hours later, we met up at the college. We are still together, and my parents still don't know we're dating. I'm thinking I should probably introduce them to my new boyfriend, who secretly lived in their house for three whole days. Well, that was my story about Dean and I's crazy 60-hour oh. challenge. Have you ever done something like that? No. Write it in the comments. If you haven't, hey guys, be sure to try this one out. This it's an awesome challenge. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna make some more crazy videos like this in the future and soon. So yeah, if you're new, subscribe and comment, like and everything and see you in the next video.